might be hooked on you I love the things you said, you said to me To me it seems like you like me too We can take it slow, make sure we do this right Cancelled all my plans to be with you tonight Just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building chemistry I don't think I ever wanna go Come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be No need to rush, so let's just take our time Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building chemistry I don't think I ever wanna go Come closer next Another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be Oh, we were meant to be Oh, we were meant to be Oh, we were meant to be So just sit with me Talking through the night and through the morning Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a self-care video. So you guys know I always talk about how important self-care is and I love to share with you guys the products I'm using, my tips and tricks of what I like to do on days where I need a little bit more TLC and just to make me feel better. So today is the 30th of June which is also known as the first official day of summer which I'm not gonna lie it does feel like the past week or so it's been so hot i keep getting like a sweaty sooner so i'm really sorry about that and also the past week my skin has needed a little bit of tlc i've broken out here i don't know where that's come from and a little bit on my forehead not too bad but i feel like the transition from different seasons always affects my skin i don't know if any of you guys feel the same but personally for me every time there's a different season i know at the beginning and i try not to manifest it honestly but I just, I feel like it's just something that happens now. My skin just changes and I feel like it's just adapting it to the new weather. I also feel like in England it's gone from like zero to a hundred real quick. We've had quite cold, gloomy days and now it feels like we live in Spain, which I'm not complaining about, I'm not gonna lie. But I do feel like I need to give my skin that extra bit of TLC and just have a little bit of a glow up, a summer glow up before enjoying the summer officially, which I'm really excited about. So I literally want to do like head to toe glow up from skincare to fake tan, to makeup, to making my hair all nice and shiny and just having that really nice summer glow up. I feel like it's really needed. Every single season, you guys know, I love to do these kinds of videos and I love using products that help me with like different types of weather, if that makes sense. For like summer, I want more of a glowy, lightweight look, but also I need to be a little bit more mattified, especially on my T-zone because at the moment my skin has turned a little bit oily. So I wanna just show you guys all my tips and tricks for what I love to do for that. So this video is really kindly in collaboration with Look Fantastic. You guys know I've worked with Look Fantastic for the longest time. I shop with them, I'm a customer, but the fact that they want to work with me is just 
the most amazing thing and the best part about it is you guys get a 20% off discount code. So you can use my code AMYRW20 to get 20% off all the featured products which I'll list in the description box down below as well in case any of you guys are interested. Yeah all of those will be in the description box down below in case any of you guys want to pick them up because there are a lot of products that we need to talk through so I don't want to ramble on any more for this intro. So if you want to pamper with me head to toe, then please keep watching. Okay, first things first, I need to cleanse my skin before putting anything on it. So let's head to the bathroom because I just need to wash this face. Okay, so I have got out the shower. Um, I use this hair mask in my hair today and it honestly feels amazing. This is the L'Oreal LV Dream Lengths. It smells incredible. I've bought from this brand before. Um, I've used their water, I think it's the Dream Lengths water or something, which is really lovely. But I just love a mask on my hair. I always use a mask as conditioner as well because um, my hair gets dry really quickly. So I feel like I need products like that just to like keep the moisture in my hair. So yeah, I've done that and my hair is now in a towel. I'm so excited because my last pot is empty. So this is the previous one that I've used. Completely like clean, it's just completely gone. So it's the perfect timing to open a new one and I'm so excited. I've gone about two days without using it and I feel like I've just really noticed such a horrible difference in my skin. So this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. They have the original one as well. I just prefer the rose. I really enjoy rose products um, and you don't need a lot, although I put quite a bit on because I haven't used it in a few days and my skin, I just feel like it needs it. So it literally melts on your face. It's such a beautiful product, especially after a long day when you've got makeup on, it just melts your makeup off. It is so beautiful. So I just rub it in my skin like so. You can be really gentle around your eyes and it's just such an amazing cleanser. So I use this and the amazing thing about it it also comes with a flannel, a little Elemis flannel as well. So you can use this to wipe it off at the end as well. Next up, I'm gonna pop on a tissue mask. You guys know I'm obsessed with these tissue masks. This one has become a new favorite recently. It's green tea and hyaluronic acid. It feels and smells amazing. So you're meant to pop this on for around 15 minutes. Um, I probably do it about 10. I think because I do it so frequently, my skin doesn't need it for the full 15 minutes, but I suppose it's completely up to you. So they come like this. They have got a lot of serum in, and then you literally just obviously pop it on. And then the amazing thing is they have so much serum in, so I probably put it into like three, like that turn it upside down and then I squeeze the packet and can you see how much extra serum comes out and then I just apply that onto like on top of the mask and then also down my neck I feel like you forget to do your neck when you're doing masks and stuff like that but it is so important yeah, I'm gonna leave this on for between 10 to 15 minutes um let it do its thing and then we can move on to the next step okay so it's been about, I'd say, 12 minutes, to be precise. So I'm going to take that off. And then the excess serum, I always rub into my skin, just because it just feels amazing. And it's good to just rub as much as you can and keep your skin really hydrated. So I'm just going to go all around this spot. It, do you know when you like go over a spot, it feels huge. Like, it feels like I'm going, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> it is massive. I don't know where it's come from. I don't think I've ever had a spot on my cheek before. I don't know. What I, is that food? I feel like that's food. But I've been eating really healthy. I don't know. Anyway, rub that in. Um, another tip to use, where is it? In the summer, if you're really hot, because I know what it's like getting ready in the summer can be a little bit of torture sometimes, just because it can be a bit sweaty. After... Well, to be honest, I put my fan on a lot when I get ready, but especially after you've done something like a mask, if you put your fan on, it will cool you down so much because your skin's quite cold, because your skin's quite wet already. So if you just do this, it cools it down and it also dries the product out a lot faster. So it's gonna seep into your skin a lot quicker, which is amazing. So I always do this. So I have just blow dried my hair 
Um, and I'm just putting it back behind my face. I'm into like straight hair at the moment. I go through stages. So I'm just leaving that to, you know, do its thing behind there. So before I go to bed, this is a holy grail product for me. As I've got older, I've realized how important it is to take care of your skin, especially your face with like SPF and not putting your face in too much sun because it is damaging, obviously, the more you do it over the years. I don't want any sort of pigmentation or dark spots, wrinkles, none of that. And I think it can be quite dangerous. And I've realized that as I've got older, when I look back on when I was younger, I'd literally just sit in the sun all day like this. And I just think, no, but at least I know now. A product I love to use just to keep my face all nice and tan to match the rest of my body is this. This is the Garnier Natural Bronzer Self Tan Mist. This is amazing. You literally, and I've shown you guys this so many times before, I put my hair back like this and I spray it all over my face like that and then I'll get a wipe and then just go, go around my eyebrows like that because I don't want them to like go orange sometimes they do that if you don't wipe it and then I go to sleep I wake up in the morning it looks like I've been on holiday it's great and it's just a really good way just to keep you feeling bronze and healthy and glowy um it is it says quick results within an hour. I'd say it's a bit longer than that. Hence why I personally like to do it before I go to bed. Um, but yeah, that's why I like to do it before I go to bed. Because then I wake up in the morning and I'm like the perfect bronze and tan that I want to be. So, something that I have discovered. It's like a new product I've discovered is this. Now, this is from Tan Lux. I also use the, the Tan Lux Illuminating Self Tanning Drops. I love them. You literally pop them in with your moisturiser and then you get a tan which is just incredible but these are really special so they've come up with this new product and i've honestly been wanting to try it ever since it came out so these are the tan Lux super gloss spf 30 illuminating bronzing drops it just sounds like the most dreamiest product ever so it looks like this it's just the most beautiful product i love how it's really versatile you can put it over makeup under makeup you can put it on your chest and your body and you're protecting your skin from the sun and it's got illuminating drops in it which is just beautiful so I'm going to pop those underneath my makeup just to give it a little bit more of like a glow and a bronze um, and before that I'm just going to apply this so this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream um, I like to use this underneath my makeup so I'm going to pop that on now I rub it in my hand and then just go everywhere and then I'm going to use these so I'm gonna put a few drops on my hands, rub it in my fingers, and then just go over the top. I like to do it while my moisturizer is still like sitting on my skin, just because I feel like it blends in a lot better. This product really reminds me of the By Terry CC Serum. It's really similar, but I love how I'm getting my SPF as well. Can you see like how amazing it is? It's so glowy on no makeup days. I honestly swear by this combo just because it makes my skin feel awake and even when I haven't fake tanned I get the same effect it's just beautiful so this is just a new godsend product of mine and I'm obsessed with it just for that healthy glow and even if you're on holiday applying this you're getting your SPF in and your skin looks amazing and glowy so yeah I love this so much I'm just gonna let this sort of seep into my skin a little bit and then we can move on to the next steps I have zoomed you in a little bit just so you can see a little bit more up close you can just see how incredible this product is it's like it just just so lightweight but so amazing and glowy I've just I'm so happy with it so the next steps I'm going to do are primer and then my brows. So I'm going to pop some primer on first just so I let it have time to set in my skin. This primer, I think I went through two of them last year in like the spring, summer and autumn for a little bit. And it's the only primer that I used that my makeup in the summer stuck to. It was like this barrier and my makeup just stuck to it and it was just the most incredible primer ever it's quite like a it's not sticky but it is in a way it's really strange but honestly this is a must-have in the summer if you're looking for a good primer like your makeup will stick to the primer and it also creates a barrier and i feel like my skin it breaks out a lot less when i use it so yeah i love it and i sort of leave it to go a little bit tacky um, I won't put foundation on straight away, so I leave it for a little bit while I'm doing my brows, and then it's like the perfect timing to put foundation on. So, for my brows, I'm going to use this. This is the NYX Fill and Fluff 
brow pencil. I use the shade Ash Brown. So I'm just going to do my brows. I literally fill them in. I'll probably zoom you guys in a little bit more just so you can see. Um, I'm just going around the edges and then I'm going to use the brush just to fluff them up. So I found myself in tears every day. Okay, so my brows are done. I am in love with this product. I feel like the shade is perfect because it's not too warm. It's a bit ashier and I love that, hence why it's called Ash Brown. <laughs> okay, for foundation, I actually picked up two from Look Fantastic. So I've got these two. One's obviously a higher end one and one is a drugstore. I love that they stock a mixture of drugstore and higher end brands on Look Fantastic. I feel like it's just so versatile so this one i accidentally got in the wrong shade as you can see it's a lot more paler i feel like in the autumn winter that would be perfect for me um, but i wanted to show you guys anyway this is the all hours ysl foundation in the shade bd30 i am usually bd50 so i picked the wrong shade i don't know why i picked this one but anyway it is very light but instead i'm going to use this one so this is the maybelline fit me in the shade natural beige 220 this is a matte and poreless one um i'm only gonna apply like bit by bit and then i'm gonna blend in with my real techniques beauty blender um and i'm just gonna go in i've been looking for a lightweight oh my god i love this i've been looking for a lightweight foundation that is actually a little bit more matte i like for my skin personally to have a little bit more of a matte base but then at the end, using products to make it feel a little bit more dewy. If I just go straight in for a dewy look, it looks like I've been sweating the whole day. <laughs> it is not pretty. So I like to use products like this just to help. This shade, I'm obsessed. Like I feel like this is the perfect shade for me. It just melts in my skin. And I feel like it's just really buildable. Like It covers everything up. But it doesn't feel heavy. It feels really lightweight. The perfect foundation that you want to use for for summer. So I'm loving this. And it's so affordable. And you can also get 20% off it as well with my code AmyRW20. Of course, I'll pop all the links to everything and my code and all that kind of stuff in the description box. Um, but you can save yourself 20% off, which is so good. Okay, I am so obsessed with this foundation. I love how it's not dewy, it's so lightweight, like you can still see my moles and like the stuff that I want to come through in my skin and it, I, it feels like skin and it's so lightweight but it just covers, it's beautiful and it's not too dewy which is what I like but I love how you can also see the like glow underneath from using all of those other amazing products. So for concealer, I'm sticking with the same brand actually, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20 i used to use this concealer so much when i was like first started with youtube which was like five six years ago which is just mental blows my mind um and it used to be my number one now i haven't used it in a while so i'm i'm intrigued to see what it feels like i feel like it's a little bit light but let's blend okay concealer is on i really like it i've had to do a few layers just because it's a lot lightweight and I feel like I've got bad bags at the moment. But other than that, I love how it's really brightening and the shade of it is beautiful. Um, I am going to contour. I like to cream contour. I go through stages. Sometimes I don't and sometimes I do. I feel like in the summer I especially do just because it's easy and it just stays on, I feel like. So I'm going to use the Clinique Chubby Stick in the shade 1 Curvy Contour which is really lovely and I literally apply it where I want the contour to be do a little ball and then on the edge of my forehead and then I'm just going to blend this out I kind of do it really lightly I push it into my skin like that and you can see it's just so seamless it melts into your skin and it's just such a beautiful contour and it's also really buildable if I feel like I need to add more I can and it won't go patchy so I just do this all over. And then I'm also really into blush at the moment, like cream blushes. So I've been using the iconic London Sheer Blush in the shade Berry Boom. This is just beautiful. I do quite a lot just because I love the blush look. I love it. And then I just lightly blend this out. I 
feel like in the summer having a really overly blush look is just so lovely it kind of looks really sun kissed and beautiful can you see that just blends out so seamlessly this is why i love all these products because they're really lightweight and they're easy to work with i feel like sometimes when you have products that are too pigmented it can be a little bit overwhelming but when you have ones that are just easy to blend you know i don't even have to worry about oh my god is it going to go patchy because i know it won't and then i just go back in with my beauty blender and then go like over the top of this bit just to blend it in so a new product which i'm really excited to try actually is a translucent powder now in the summer i feel like a translucent powder is a must the Too faced born this way when you feel you want it more suddenly you're on the floor so next i'm gonna use this new product it's from benefin it's the new hula glow how beautiful is this and the packaging i love how the brush has got like sparkles on it as well it looks stunning i haven't tried it yet so we're gonna try it for the first time together um and i love with my makeup adding like glow and shimmer and stuff like that i feel like sometimes if my whole base is dewy and glowy it like i said it just looks like i'm sweating <laughs> so using products like this to help with that and just to add the extra glow i just so dreamy this is beautiful it's not like too much i was thinking is it going to be really shimmery <gasps> this is so lovely oh my god it looks like i've got that dewy look that i want without yeah i need to say about looking sweaty because that just sounds gross <laughs> okay next up i am going to move on to my eyes so i feel like i'm really basic when it comes to eyeshadow i usually just put bronzer in my eyes and then call it a day which is pretty boring if you ask me so i thought i'd branch out a little bit and i picked up the revolution pro 24 karat gold eyeshadow palette and this looks beautiful i feel like over the years revolution is a brand that has revolutionized you know <laughs> it's just grown so much oh my god these colors wow i always struggle taking this like plastic bit off because i don't want to ruin any of the shades so this is the palette and this is what it looks like it is so beautiful it is really versatile the shades are an actual dream i love gold leaf and how coin i don't know how you say that but this one here i think we should go in quite dark first plate i think this one the really super dark one but I'm going to go in quite lightly on my eyelid. And I left my heart with you. There is nothing else to do. I would like to hide. Okay, so now both are done. I'm going to use the shade base. And I'm going to use it on like a flat brush. And then I'm going to go down the middle of my eye like that. And then use my finger just to sort of spread it out a little bit i don't want it to be too thick but this is obviously where the shimmer is going to go so i'm going to mix the shades hmm i think this one here auric is that how you say it and 24 carat so i'll mix those two together i'm going to use my finger for this just because i feel like it's easy to press on that is crazy and then i'm going to put this shimmer or glitter over the top okay i feel like now it looks a little bit intense so what i'm going to do is grab my brush and without any product on and just go down like the edges of the shimmer and just sort of diffuse it out a little bit can you see just so it's not as like harsh okay so for my tear duct i'm going to use the shade metal which is this really light pink here and I'm just gonna pack that on and it just brightens your eye up a little bit which is really pretty for eyeliner I'm gonna use the Clinique pretty easy liquid liner I'm just gonna do a tiny little flick nothing too crazy just do a little flick it's broken and far from intact and as dangerous as it is and then for mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. This is just an OG favourite of mine. It's just such a lovely mascara. 
Okay, so I've just popped some lashes on. And then this is my shadow. I really like it. I also popped a little bit of this over the top just to diffuse the pigments a bit on the shimmer. And I love how it looks. I'm so pleased with it. It's exactly how I like a glowy, like, summer look. Um, I'm also going to use the L'Oreal Life's a Peach Blush. This is just a beautiful summer blusher i feel like you can never have enough blusher i know i did put a um liquid blush on as well but i feel like it just adds a little bit more color you know for highlight and just to bronze up a little bit i'm gonna use my trusty iconic london illuminator in the shade gold now this is just the most beautiful illuminator ever i grab a brush like this and then it's just easy to apply it once the product's sort of like in the brush because it just makes it a little bit more natural and like adding stuff like this just adds glowiness to your makeup and makes it a little bit more dewy so for lips because i've gone quite heavy and dewy on the eye and base i'm just going to go for a classic nude so i'm going to use the rimmel cappuccino lip liner <laughs> and then for lip from look fantastic as well so i've got the nyx or nyx shout loud satin lipstick in the shade a la mode which looks like this here comes the complications pinky that one and now for setting spray i have two setting sprays that are just the dreamiest for summer i wanted to talk to you guys about both of them just because everyone has their own personal preference when it comes to how they want their makeup to be whether you want it to be more dewy glowy matte little bit in between so i thought i could just show both of them so of course i've got the iconic london prep setting glow i'm sure you guys have heard about this this is a dreamy product you can use it to prep your makeup before, afterwards it adds shimmer, it's beautiful, I love this one. But it is quite dewy and a little bit, not it's a bit sticky but not in a bad way, it's kind of just a bit more dewy. And then we have this one, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray. This is actually the mini version because I thought this is really handy to have in my bag if I'm not out and about. So personally, I'm going to use this one today but I just thought I'd mention both them this is also amazing to use around the whole of your body like even on your legs your chest your arms everywhere it's so beautiful so yeah i love this one as well i might put that over the top maybe we'll see how i feel okay the next product that i need to talk to you guys about is this now i've heard so many amazing things about this in the perfume form so i was gonna buy the perfume because i thought oh perfect because summer you know it just has that like summer scent but i saw this and this is a little bit cheaper but it interested me <laughs> it interested me a little bit more so this is by estee lauder and it's called bronze goddess and this is a shimmering oil spray this is for hair and body so i mean what more could you want in a product so it looks like this and then obviously you shake it wow oh my god even the bottle alone is beautiful so we're gonna test it out oh my god this smells so nice i feel like maybe i need a big brush to buff it in i know what's on your mind but now i actually can't cope can you see this product this is the most beautiful product ever it smells like i'm wearing perfume anyway it's like perfume an oil and a shimmer all in one product oh my god you guys need this so badly i feel like i need to do it on my arms as well just because i just feel like i need to you know This is amazing. It like keeps your skin hydrated and glowy. But the shimmer is just so lovely. But it's not like too much, you know. It's just subtle. <sighs> Honestly, you guys need this product. 
this is beautiful and it smells insane i really wasn't sure whether to get the perfume or not and i was thinking oh am i gonna regret not doing it but i feel like i've got three products out of one so i'm really pleased with this and you can see how glowy it is and lovely i'm also going to pop this on my legs because i feel like it's just nice to have an all over body shimmer and glow you know which i love oh i just feel so happy i can't believe it's the official first day of summer and i just feel like i'm ready you know i feel like i'm prepared my bronze goddess shimmering oil my washing machine's on <laughs> so i'm really sorry if you can hear that um but yeah no i'm just feeling really good and just like ready for summer you know even though it has been really hot but i just feel like these products are helping even more and i haven't done like nice gold on my lids in ages and i just feel all cute and summery so my lovelies my hair is now all straight and i'm feeling really summery i'll pop a link to this top in the description box down below as well because i know you guys are going to ask about it but i'm so happy with my pamper and my makeup routine at the moment and i just want to say a massive thank you to look fantastic for working with me on today's video you guys know i only work with brands that i genuinely love i genuinely use i'm a regular customer i look fantastic not gonna lie so all of these products I'm really familiar with, I've purchased before with my own money and it's honestly a privilege to work with such an amazing brand. So I just want to say thank you so much. Don't forget to use my code AMYRW20 for 20% off all the feature products which I'll pop in the description box down below. Honestly, all of these products have just made me feel like I'm ready for summer, I'm ready to conquer the heat and I just feel nice and glowy but not like everything's too heavy. Nothing feels too heavy on my skin. I'm just really pleased with it all. And I hope you guys like the final look as well. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite product is. And also if you have any of these products and if you love them and if you need a top up, then you can use my code and get 20% off as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.